Hello you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in to another video from your girl Swinger Nelly. And today is my studio apartment tour. Stay tuned. <music> Okay, you guys, so this is the door, and I have me a door stopper here for extra security. You know, don't have time for people trying to come in on your girl, okay? Um, so when you go to, when I go to my left here, I have me a little station here where I used to keep a lot of my business products in here, but I decided that I this would be best utilized for like additional storage for like extension cores, extra lotion, extra hand soap, um, survival stuff, batteries, um, flashlights, and all that extra stuff. And then on top, I have my little cleaning, my PPE station here for my hand sanitizer, disinfectant spray. I have a thing full of masks. You can't go wrong with too many masks. The container I got them in is from Five Below. I bought two of them. And then here is just some extra whatnots, whatever. You know, my medical bracelet, my finger stuff, my keys, my work badge, you know, all that type of stuff is right here for easy access when I go in and out. And then, of course, I have me a little candle burning and it is from one of my favorite places and move this out the way chesapeake bay and this one is confidence and freedom smells so so good and then i just have like you know pens and stuff you know vitamins iron um gummies and all that stuff right here so this is pretty much like a quick grab type station storage if you will i got this thing here you guys from amazon just in case you guys were wondering now we are going to go into one of my favorite places in the whole studio apartment and it is my bathroom that's right my bathroom you can see me hey hey <laughs> so this is my bathroom and then i'm going to i'm give you guys a roll around of what it look like and then i'm gonna come back to the front And then we're going to discuss what I got on my countertop. So what I got on my countertop is just a bunch of stuff that I pretty much use on a regular and decoration. So I have my lotion. This is my face steamer, Amazon. This is my shaver clipper, Amazon. This here is actually a piece that I had a vase that I had for my um, dining room area, dining room set, which is in storage. So I just thought it was perfect to put here in the bathroom. And I got this from a place called Dollar Central in Highland Park, Michigan. So if you're from Highland Park and you're from Michigan, you know what I'm talking about. This here, yeah, I got this from Five Below. I just needed something green, whatever. If you've seen my previous videos, you know that one of them broke because I have bought two. And then here, it's just my little station. I have like my clippers and my tweezers that I use a lot. And another Chesapeake Bay candle, strength and energy. And then this little thing right here, this little mirror is um, part of my business that I give away, whatever case may be. And then I have my little jewelry box full of jewelry, Ooh, full of jewelry. jewelry and stuff just for quick access and then here is some lashes you guys i sell lashes as well anywho on to the next i got here some um facial products that i use when i just want to wash my face and scrub my face real quick i use the palmer's coconut oil formula then you have a paper towel these two amazon it came with a set came with a trash can came with a toilet brush came with a um soap holder i got rid of the soap holder and the um toilet brush this right here i got from amazon as well i don't use the soap but the soap is just here for decorations purposes and then here i have another container that i got from five below and then these towels here are for decorations these are face towels i got these from amazon as well 
And then this one is my rag that I use to clean out my sink. So it's just here. Now, we are about to go into what's under my cabinet or countertop. So this area right here, I keep my cleaning supplies in my bathroom. I have some stuff for my hair down here as well. This right here is my V-Steam. My V-Steam, my JJ stool that I use to, you know, get the girl right. And then here is my foot bath that I have here. So this is all that's in this part. And then we're gonna go back to the front of the counter in the smaller drawer. I gotta take this out because it gets stuck. But this right here is just my drawer full of my personal care products, my soap, my deodorant, my toothpaste, you know, napkins, toothbrush um, protectors and Lysol wipes and all that type of stuff. So I got all that up in here. I also have the um, herbal blend that I use for my JJ Steam stool. The next one is a catastrophe, but this is my makeup drawer. Yeah, I have no organization to this right now because I don't know exactly how I want to organize it yet, but this is where I keep all of my makeup, um, some products, you know, nails, lip glosses, all that type of stuff, all that type of stuff. And then of course I gotta promote my stuff Lip Luxury Matte Lip Collection by Five Girl Beauty Essentials. Yes, yes, yes. This red one is amazing, you guys. Um, so yeah, this is just my makeup drawer right here. If anybody got any ideas on how to organize that, put it in the comments. And then down here, another catastrophe, which is my hair care drawer. So I got all uh, flat irons, curling irons, you know, hair wraps and stuff like that, and you know, hair pieces and combs and brushes and all that good stuff so all that is in here now we're gonna go over to my toilet area this is another mirror which this is the actual the um the medicine cabinet so just open this up for you guys and this all you see this all i got in here so far nothing major And then at the bottom here, I just got some little whatnots on my toilet. I use one of these to keep my little, you know, liners, lady, lady stuff, you know. And these three right here are bath sauce. I made these. So if you want to know how I made them, go back to my previous video and you can check that out. And then here I just have my shower, cur shower caps here. And that's all I have on the toilet. And then down at the bottom, this is my toilet bowl brush wand. It's a disposable wand. And I love it. The little things are inside here. And you just clamp it on and you just wash your toilet out. And this is my toilet. This is my cover for my toilet. This is the cover for my um, floor. I got these. It's actually a three piece, but the other piece go around the toilet but it wasn't it didn't make sense to put that there but i did get this set off of amazon i got it because it, it made me feel like i was walking on like concrete or whatever so it was just a nice little feel to it and then y'all my favorite part of this bathroom is my shower look at that so we are about to go and look what I got inside. And again, everything is from Amazon. This right here, these are vines. I had bought a big bag like months, months, months ago. And I'm like, you know what? I got to utilize this. So I said, you know what? I'm going to put these on both ends of my shower curtain to make it look like a, a rose vine. So that's what I did. And on the inside is... I love the fact that they gave me shelves for my bathtub slash shower. So this is just, first, you know, shower stuff. Nothing, nothing spectacular. But what I do love, you guys, is 
my bab caddy. Absolutely, I love it. This works wonders when you just want to relax in your tub and listen to music or watch movies and drink your wine and all that type of stuff. So, yeah. Okay, now we're going over to this part right here. I put some more of the vines on the towel rack here. All my towels and stuff I got from Amazon. And then at the bottom here is my little smell good station, my little nail polish station here. A quick grab and go so I can see what colors I got, so I can see what smells I have, and all that good stuff. And then the whole drawer itself used to be in my bedroom. So I said, you know what, I'm going to put it in my bathroom for extra storage. So that's what I did. And, you know, I got tiles in here. Tiles in here. At the bottom, I have my toilet tissue and my trash bags. Um, and here is just miscellaneous stuff, you know, more sanitary stuff. Just miscellaneous stuff, more tiles and all that stuff. And then on to the side is just my laundry bin for my dirty clothes. And then the back of the door is just a hanger of my towel and my house coat. Okay, so the next area we're going to go into is my kitchen. So this is just a miscellaneous area. I got to figure out what to do with this stuff. But we are going to go over here to my sink area. So I went from two sinks to one sink. I hate it, but I love it because it's really, really deep. And I love the marble countertop. And then I just have these two things here where when I wash my dishes, whatever, I just put, here, put these here to sit here until I actually hand dry every dish that I have. Um, at the top here is just some decoration pieces, something just to fill the area up a little bit. Um, right here is just some miscellaneous stuff, nothing too important, nothing too important. My little shots here. Um, I have this flower pot here. I got from Amazon. I actually have four of them. It was a set. And then this one right here, one of my favorite pieces of the kitchen is my, um, 360 tea holder so um, that's awesome um these two here i got from amazon it was a three pack and one got my flour one got my sugar um i got this timer here and when i'll be baking and stuff here's another one of those of course this is just oil um let's go up to the top real quick this is in no particular order you guys but this is where i keep all of my dry goods and oils and extra um extra seasoning and stuff like that so you guys can see salmon and all the goodness that I love to eat is in here and then this cabinet needs to be a little bit more organized but this is where I keep my plates my bowls my Tupperware nothing special and then you have here just my stainless steel microwave and then above that you guys I'm actually on my tippy toes opening this but this is where I keep my additional glasses and Tupperware that I do not use so that's that and then we go down here to another cabinet and this is where I keep my mugs my um my glasses that I use on the regular up here and that's just some miscellaneous stuff. Um, those are actually two glasses from Hard Rock, Hard Rock Cafe that used to be downtown Detroit. Um, okay, so now we are going to go down here. This is just a place where I just put some stuff at because I didn't have any room and then I had to find a place to put like my bigger utensils so that's a temporary spot for them right there right there is my favorite water mug or whatever and um right here also one of my favorite parts of the kitchen is oh uh, that's my oven you guys is these right here these are magnetic seasoning holders 
these are the, all the seasonings that I use on a regular basis. So I said, you know what? I need to put these out here so that I don't have to keep going into the cabinet getting them. So this is what this are, this is. And then I like that they got the hooks here and I can hang my what's names on here. At the top of the refrigerator is just miscellaneous stuff. Cookies, cereal, chips, lunch bag. And that box is cookbooks. And then down here is the stainless steel. Uh, it is the refrigerator. And give y'all a quick glance of what I got in here. It's not really much because it's just me. So yeah, almost empty. And then in the bottom, yep, got a lot of stuff going on up in here. It's time to clean it out. So this is what y'all get. No need to explain. And then here, right here, this is where I keep my cleaning supplies for my you know, floors and my um, clothing powder, you know, my game, my, my wash clothes, and um, Lysol wipes and stuff in my Swifter, all that cleaning stuff is in here. And then in here, it's just another area where I store all of my bigger utensils and things like that. Measuring cups and all that jazziness. Then we have my stove here, which is stainless steel. And um, I'm, I got it warming up or whatever because I'm going to be making something later. Um, so yeah, this is what the top looks like. This right here is some cornbread that I had made. Oh, my specialty cornbread. Oh, so good. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like. This right here in the back, this is a, um, magnetic knife holder. I just put these here for decorations. I don't use them. I already have two of the same ones in my drawer that I use already. So no need to use these. These are just here for decorations. Um, and let's go back down to the drawers. Oh, the catastrophe, you guys. I am so not an organizer of drawers. So this is what it's looking like. I will be getting me a, a, a sorter or whatever for my utensils and stuff. So guys, please don't judge a girl too, too hard. And then down here is where I keep additional stuff, maybe like bulk items, or if I have more than one of the same item, I'll put it down here because I don't have no room at the top. So I have my broths, I have my Himalayan salt, my Epsom salt, water, oils, rosemary juices, all that stuff in here. And then we go on over to this cabinet. And this is where I keep all of my additional pots, pans, crock pot, additional bowls, and stuff like that. Nothing special. And then down here, under the sink, I keep my spirits. I'm gonna get me a little wine rack as well too, so I keep my spirits. I keep a bottle um, of water. The distilled water is for something specific that I have to use pretty much every night. I'll talk about that in a later video, but here's more disinfecting items. I got candles back here. Just miscellaneous stuff up under the sink. And then I have my old faithful cafe latte rug. And then we're going to head back out the kitchen and um, head into the little hallway area. And this used to be in my bathroom. And I said I wanted to keep it because it's good for storage purposes. So right now I just have some miscellaneous stuff on these shelves until I can figure out what to do with them. So yeah. And then down here, my little rug from M5. To my right is some business product stuff. And then I have my Bluetooth speaker at the bottom right there. Um, up here, I have a little canvas painting. I'm gonna show you the other two paintings. 
I didn't want to put this one with that one because I just felt like it kind of like didn't go in the way. So I just put it here in this window. And then we're going to go back down. This bag is full of stuff for making lip glosses and all that stuff. So business products and stuff. And we're going to switch it to over here real quick. This area right here, you guys. I have my printer right here. I have my laptop right here. This area right here is my computer desk. However, I'm using it for some products and stuff because I'm going to have like a, a closeout sale or a New Year's sale or something like that. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. But this is a lot of the stuff that I will be you know, selling and then potentially going on, going live on Facebook, Instagram, whatever. So just stick to them. But while I am right here, this gold, this is a tablecloth. But what I have up under it is my little storage bags that actually is supposed to go up under the bed. But I have too much stuff under my bed already. So I put them up under my computer desk yeah. and then I just pull this down for whenever I have guests over so that they won't be looking straight at it and then here is my TV once you can see my ring light my TV is dirty you guys so I gotta wash that off this is another drawer set that I had in my bedroom, but now I am utilizing it for like stuff for my gloves, hats, scarves, and all that. And then these are for like socks, footies, house shoe footies, you know, got to keep them feet swarm. Down here is for my house coats, robes, all that stuff I stuck in here. And then down here is additional purses and stuff that I didn't want to put in my closet. So, just that. And then this little area right here is just two nice stands that I put together. They're dirty. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with them. These right here are foot covers for when people come in my door because I have hardwood floors now. And because I'm on the basement level the floors tend to get kind of cold so i say you know what i'm not going to have them take off their shoes and just put shoe covers so yeah okay now we are back on the other side of this room right here is my storage bins that i have bought for storing business stuff I still have business stuff inside here, but I also have some personal stuff inside here. And then they have their own individual boxes, whatever you want to call them. It's actually eight. I only got six because I didn't feel like putting up the, the other two. Don't ask me why. But this is just an area to help store stuff. That's it. And then down here is one of my rugs that I have that I got from Amazon. And then, okay, you guys, my favorite part of this whole room area is my bed area. So we are gonna start with these here. The flowers, the fake flowers, and the canvases I got from Amazon. I love them. Especially the one with the hands and the butterfly. I just think that is just so gorgeous. And so we have my bed. My bed is a queen size bed and it's high because I got my box spring up under it. And I have bought us a bed cover, a bed skirt, but the skirt did not touch the floor because I'm up too high. But I do have stuff up under my bed. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm not gonna look under there and right here is my bed this is my fluffy warm comforter that I got from Amazon um, the pillows I got from Amazon as well and then let me step back you guys look at this I love this tape street over my bed because I don't have a headboard I never liked headboards so I always find it fascinating to be able to 
put stuff up and take stuff down at the head of your bed whenever you feel like it. So, yeah, I guess that's a way of me getting bored. I get bored with a lot of stuff easily. So me being able to redecorate when I want to decorate and not look at the same thing all the time. That's why. I, yeah. But this is my bed. Queen size bed. Yep, yep, yep. And then we're going to go over to my little nightstand area. And I just got, you know, my headphone set. This thing right here is a phone holder. So when I'm laying in the bed at night, it'll hold it. And I and I could just watch movies or whatever I'm going to do on my phone. I have clean ass right of drawer on top of the drawer. This thing right here, you guys, is a breathing machine that I have to use every now and then or whenever I feel like it because <laughs> it, it is whenever I feel like it but this is what my distilled water goes into for the humidifier uh, but yeah your little girl you know you have a little hard time sometimes breathing so I have to put in I have to put on the the, uh, the breather machine every now and then but anywho moving back this is my other look and this is my ottoman the ottoman the rug amazon the, this white fur rug amazon these two pieces here is just pieces that i just found around the house and i said i'm just going to put them there just for decoration purposes and then my couch my couch is actually brown but i bought a, a couch cover so I wanted something more brighter and everything like that when I had moved because I was just tired of looking at the brown. And considering the fact that this is a studio apartment, I couldn't bring my couch with me, my sofa, so I had to put that in storage. But the outside pillows, the black one and the white one, got from Amazon. The middle one, just like the one in my bed, I got from a place called Dollar Central in Holland Park, Michigan. Um, so yeah. And this right here is also a table cover, but I just put it on the back of my couch for decoration purposes. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it at the present time, but yeah. So we go here. I have a dream catcher right there. Got from Amazon and um, right here, dream catcher from Amazon and then this right here is my closet the only closet that I have and I actually only opened up one door it is a walk-in closet it's a hot mess right now but I can only open up one door because my couch is up against the other door so yeah so this is a lot of stuff up in here you know boxes full of business stuff um they got my other two um storage things that I haven't put together then here is just miscellaneous stuff. This right here, I'd have had this for ages. This saves my life with a lot of um, <laughs> with a lot of um, storing stuff. I had this for over ten years. I got this from Target. And then here, I try to keep as much organized as I possibly can. Um, so I got some of my favorite hats that I like to wear up here. I got some shirts. Got some pants. And then I have boxes of shoes that are for winter closed toe shoes, pretty much sneakers, all that type of stuff. And then I have some clothes hanging from, you know, nice little house robes, um, sweaters, coats, things like that for the winter. And then when it gets warmer i will take all this stuff and put it in storage and um bring out the more appealing the more warmer type of clothing so that's my closet and then here at the bottom right here is a big um tote whatever you want to call it full of my shoes and house shoes and stuff that I know that I will be wearing throughout the winter. And um, 
the ones that I wear most recent, I keep them right here on these gloves and stuff. So when I get ready to leave out, I can just switch out my house shoes and put my shoes on and all that good stuff. And yeah, you guys. Oh, let me just give you guys another nice look. So from my kitchen to my room area or my room area to my kitchen, it is an open space. I love that. I love it because it, it makes it feel more, I don't know. It's just, I'm able to communicate with people, see people while I'm in the kitchen cooking and everything like that. It just, it just makes it look so much better. Like when I tell you my old apartment compared to what they did with this one, my old apartment looks a hot mess. Okay. So this is what my kitchen is looking like. Back to what my bedroom looks like. Back to what my sitting area looks like. One more look at the bathroom. And that's it, you guys. Thank you guys for following me on my studio comment tour. I said I wanted to do it as soon as I could, as soon as I got settled in, and I did. Pretty much everything is where I want it to be at the moment, but I still have some things I want to, you know, figure out and take away, add, or whatever the case may be. I thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I'm going to try to get everything that I got from Amazon in the description so you guys can have links. So if you want to go ahead and make your purchase of that, then you can go ahead and do that. Um, so yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed my tour and I will see you guys on the next video. But before I close out, if you have not already, go check out my other two videos that I did today. Um, it's just some talking videos about Chloe and about Milani. If that stuff interests you, please go ahead, watch the video, like the video, make a comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And yeah, you guys, that's it. I may do one more video for today. It all depends on how I feel. But if not, I'll catch you guys during the weekday sometime. Not sure when. I feel like a video for some music is coming on. So I'm going to go ahead and um, see what music that I'm going to be vibing to. And then I'm going to just do a reaction of that. So, yeah. Happy New Year's. I hope everybody's New Year is going to be all that they have wished for. I know the last few years has been a hectic year for everybody. So, this year, as well as myself, you guys, we are going to do things that we have been procrastinating on. Okay? It's time out for the procrastination. Get it done. And... Stay firm on your beliefs. Stay firm on what's true to you. If you feel like it's best for you, then you stick to it. Don't let nobody bully you into doing something that you just truly do not want to do. It's time out for the bullying. We have to figure out what our life purpose is because people are losing people like this. And I'm going to stop right here because I can go on all day. But thank you guys for tuning in. Catch you guys later.